Professor HT Theater here to talk to you about projector screen gain. And uh, these are the different ways of selecting the correct projector screen surface. The gain is basically uh, the, the amount of light reflection on your screen or brightness. Uh, a no gain screen, a 1.0 screen basically will not reflect light. That's what they call 1.0 gain. So fabrics out there are called, say, Studio Tech 100 from Stewart is a 1.0 gain. There's day mat, there's other types of fabrics that you can select. And basically what you're gonna get is the same brightness the projector puts out. So if the projector puts out a thousand lumens on the screen, you get a thousand lumens. Now if you've got a one point, say a 1.3 gain screen, that's 30% more light coming out of the projector. So if you have a thousand lumen projector, you're theoretically gonna put out 1300 lumens of brightness on the screen. Now the thing you have to remember is the viewing area. Uh, when you have a 1.0 gain screen, you can view, see here's your screen, you can view off the axis of the room. So you're on the side of the room, you can view, and it's the same light output from here, as from here, as from here. And when you go to 1.3 gain, your viewing cone will be a little bit brighter in the middle and less bright on the sides. So you gotta remember, you if you go as you go up in gain, say you go up a 1.5 gain, which is the like Ultramat uh, 150 as a, for Stewart, or like say a uh, Video Spectra 1.5 from daylight, you're still gonna, you gotta have a more of a narrow room, and then you're gonna have a little more hot spotting or brightness in the middle and less brightness on the sides. So you gotta think about your room and your width of your room. Now most home theaters are only about 10 to 15 wide, so you can go safely up to 1.5 gain pretty easily. I wouldn't go to two, because that's very bright, 2.0 gain, and that's definitely gonna hot spot more. I like getting, this is, this is one of my favorite gains to recommend in home theaters, because it gives you a little more brightness, but keeps your viewing cone uniform on the brightness, and the fabrics are very good. Now you've got different, you even have negative gain screens. The gray screen, some of them are negative. They actually decrease light. So you have a, say a 0.8 gain, you're decreasing your light by 20%. So that's one thing to uh, keep, uh, keep an eye on is screen gain. And uh, some, there's lots of other decisions, but if you have a lot of uh, ambient light, or if you have a dark room, you can safely go with these two. So you have a lot of light, you might want to go with a 1.5 gain to get some more brightness on your screen so it doesn't look washed out with a light in the room. That's Professor HT Theater talking about screen gain. Give us a call at 88. Whoa! Jeez, I can't even figure out these damn things. My God. Oh, this one's good. All right, Professor HT Theater. These are the different ways. It's mostly for the trip around the year. We can't see the game. We're still going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it.